On August 28, 1963, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. And, and that speech has had profound impact upon not just America, but the entire world. But did you know before Dr. King gave his famous speech, I Have a Dream, that God himself, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit had a dream? Uh, according to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 11, uh, God's dream has been what's called his eternal purpose, which is the church. Now, what I need you to do is go back in time, go back so far to where there is no time, but just the eternal moment where God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, who've existed in utter adoration and joy and beauty, had a dream. And that dream was to colonize planet Earth with image bearers who would bring the love of heaven to earth. Now, um, I didn't grow up in the church. Matter of fact, I remember going to church like two times when I was a kid. One time we went and we laughed the whole time. The next time uh, I went with a high school friend of mine and I noticed that the girls were cute, so I thought that I'd go back. But in my mind, the church was simply a building on a corner. I had no idea what the church meant, what the church was, and why the church even existed. When I got drafted by the Colts in 1993, uh, there was a teammate of mine. He was a linebacker, and every day after practice, he'd take a shower, dry off, wrap a towel around his waist, and then he'd promptly ask my uh, fellow teammates a question. He would say, do you know Jesus? Now, remember, I'm unchurched. I don't know much about Jesus. In my mind, I'm going, okay, do you know you're half naked asking people, do you know Jesus? It was utterly strange to me. A couple weeks go by and I'm sitting in my locker and one day this teammate of mine comes and he asks me a question. He says, do you know Jesus? And that began a five-year dialogue where eventually um, I became a follower of Jesus and thus became a member of his church. Uh, you see, the word church is not a building. The word church is not a place where people go. The word church defines a people who are on the go with Jesus. And so what the early followers of Christ did said, well, God has called us out of darkness and into light. So now we're called to a common purpose as well. And so we are the church. Uh, one of the most beautiful metaphors the Bible describes a church as is this, the bride of Christ the household of God. I mean, just to think of those two things, the bride of Christ, I remember when my bride walked down the aisle, how beautiful she was. Um, as followers of Christ, we are to be beautiful because of the beautiful God who lives in us. And then the household of faith, that we are to literally be a family. And as a person who's grown up in a fractured family, uh, being God's church and being a part of a local church has brought me new family, new friends who've loved me to be the man that I am now. And I've been able to do that in other folks' lives as well. Now, if you're looking for a perfect church and you find one, please don't go. Because if you do, you'll mess it up. Here's the deal. As a pastor, I understand my inadequacies. I understand my weaknesses, how much I need to grow. And what the church is, it's a hospital for people who are in process. It's a hospital for people who are being transformed daily into the image of Jesus. But here's the deal though, the church is God's plan A to transform the world. Now understand, the church, we gather on the weekends to get instruction, to, to worship, to encourage each other. But then throughout the week, we scatter to the office, we scatter to the classroom, we scatter to the gym, we scatter to remote jungles, we scatter all over the world to be salt and light. We scatter all over the world to be the hands and feet of Christ. We, we scatter wherever we are in our spheres of influence to be conduits of grace and mercy to a world that doesn't know grace, to a world that doesn't know mercy. So here's the deal. The church is not a place where you go. It's a, the church is a people on the go with Jesus, and you and I have a valuable role to play. Before your parents ever saw your eyes, before you ever did anything great, 
God before eternity formed you with unique abilities and gifts so that you, as his church, can make him famous.